Hello friend person, it's your guy, the average poser here, the internet's 19th or 20th favorite poser, and uh, this is our Band Monday uh, number five. Mm, I like this. Now, if you've seen the last video or so, you may remember me saying something about certain uh, videos being in the works and that Band Monday was gonna go hibernate for a little while. Well, let this be a lesson to you. Never listen to anything that I say about my own channel. I have no idea what the plan is, clearly. Anyway, here's a little hint about the band that we are covering in today's video. Um, the hint of the band name that isn't, you know, given away in the title of the video or anything. And uh, while you're trying to figure that out, uh, here's a micro review of the Exhume show that I saw last month. So basically there were four bands, and uh, they were bands with guitars, and uh, they were all very good at playing the guitars. There was a lot of Chainsaw and Fake Blood that I liked, and after it was over I went to a Quick Trip still covered in the Fake Blood, and uh, um, it was all very cringe. No, but it was a great show. Um, Exhumed, good as always. Um, they remain one of, I believe, the most underrated live acts in metal in general. And uh, it was also my first time seeing Bewitcher and Creeping Death, and they were both an absolute treat. So definitely uh, check them out. You probably already have. I'm the one who is a poser here. Anyways, did you solve the riddle yet? No? You didn't? Get out. Okay, now for those of you that did get it, let's discuss Coffin Mulch. In order to properly dig into Coffin Mulch and what makes their landscaping tick, I decided that we needed to go directly to the source. So join me now as we go and collect some of only the mulchiest coffins available. Okay, so unfortunately I could not get any real mulch made from coffins, but um, that's all right, we can make do. Coffin Mulch is a five-piece death metal band hailing from the northern half of the Uke, and they are known only by their Guaresque stage names, Al, David, Rich, and Fraser. At the time of this video, I was able to check out two of their releases on Bandcamp, uh, starting with the demo titled Apocalypse of Gore, and uh, that features the title track, Life Devoured, and uh, Coffin Mulch. Then there is the 2021 EP, Septic Funeral, which features the title track, Black Liquefaction, Live Again, Onward to Death, Carnivorous Subjugation, and, uh, Coffin Mulch. I really hope that Live Again is a sequel to Life Devoured for some reason. And I also hope that Coffin Mulch is a sequel to Coffin Mulch. In their bio, the Merry Mulch Makers make it clear that they are dedicated to death metal as it was in the glory days of the late 80s and the early 90s. And as a poser who was born in 1991, I feel perfectly qualified in saying that this was a great time and that Coffin Mulch has succeeded in recreating this sound. On their demo, the opening 20 seconds will establish for you that you are in for a pummeling brand of death metal. You'll feel like you're being dragged through the septic mud patch of the Infernal Garden faster than you can say, hey, I'm being dragged through the septic mud patch of the Infernal Garden. And if that sounds like your idea of a good time, then Coffin Mulch is most certainly for you. Additionally, the guitars on the piece um, offer a nice blend of both the uh, solos that'll hit you deep in the chest and also the, uh, later on, a little bit of the Whittly Whittly Scuds variety. The EP Septic Funeral also starts off with a bang, but uh, is clearly much doomier and gloomier than the demo, um, but still a very solid piece, still more death metal than doom metal, so if you enjoyed the demo, you're not going to be disappointed by this piece. I think that the EP's version of Coffin Mulch paints a pretty good picture of the EP. The last 40 seconds of the song is a riveting sample of the band swimming through a vat of overcooked lasagna, a clear reference to the Stouffer's incursion of 1669. The pace of the song is quickened a little bit with black liquefaction, um, but it maintains that air of a, kind of a foggy cemetery feel. As the pace of the song starts to speed up, it kind of conjures in my mind the uh, image of a rapidly decomposing squirrel, uh, just as the spirit of death metal intended. Onward to Death is easily uh, my favorite track of the EP. I would say that Activa 44 on Bandcamp already put it best in their review, saying, Some good and putrid death metal with nice riffs and a meaty sound, 
This stuff never gets old. I hope to see them live sooner or later. Yes, Activia, I largely agree. Although, um, to me, it's more of a beefy sound than a meaty sound, but uh, what would I know? I'm a poser. A poser who worked at Subway for like a decade, but a poser nonetheless. All in all, I do like this band a lot, and I look forward to another release. I am going to be giving Coffin Mulch our channel's highest and only rating a solid good out of 10. Yeah. Please join us next time when I make a video. I don't know what it will be about yet, but just go ahead and subscribe and it will happen. Well, I never really did get my hands on any real mulch from real coffins. I imagine they would have been delicious. But I would have to say, I still had a pretty good time and there's always tomorrow. I do have a machine in my house, a device that allows me to make coffee mulch, which um, it, it, it's similar.